Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at something called chart books in Sierra Chart. Essentially, chart books are just a collection of charts or a collection of windows that you can kind of set up together. That way you can organize your charts maybe by time frame or by instrument or however you like, whatever your preference happens to be. So let's go ahead and take a look here at Sierra Chart itself and we'll take a look at how we can use the chart books, how we can open it, how we can close them, and some cool features that are kind of hidden within the chart books themselves. So right now you can see I have just an ES chart here as well. I actually have two charts open and uh, if I kind of toggle to the other one you'll see they're just a different time frames essentially. I have a five minute chart here and then I have a daily chart here as well. Uh, if I wanted to actually open up another chart book uh, and you'll notice here this one happens to be saved as ES dash chart book here because I'm uh, using this for just ES charts but I can actually open up multiple chart books so not necessarily just another chart but I can actually open up another collection of charts so one way I can do that is to actually use this OC button and OC just stands for open chart book you can see there on the mouse rollover so if I click on that button, here are some chart books that I have saved here on my computer. So you can see the one I have open currently is the ES chart book. I'm actually gonna choose the CL. So I have a chart book set up just for uh, crude oil. So if I open that up, you'll see, I kind of have another tab that shows up here to the side. And if I switch back to the ES, we'll see my ES chart here and I have another ES chart open as well. Now if I switch to the CL chart book, I'll get my CL charts. And what you'll notice is I actually have two charts open and I have them um, actually tiled here for me. So these are uh, kind of a, that's a kind of another option that you can use. You can actually organize your charts. Um, whereas I have the other ones in the ES chart book kind of full screen, I can switch between those using the bottom tabs. Uh, in the CL chart book here, my crude oil chart book, I actually have them uh, organized in a separate way and I can actually kind of move these around here. They don't have to necessarily be in that order necessarily. And I can also make these full screen if I wanted to. It's just another collection of charts. Now to actually make a new chart book, instead of kind of opening one that we already have, you can do that uh, fairly easily here. So to make a new chart book, uh, maybe I wanted to make one for say the 6E, I can absolutely do that. So let's go to file. And then we'll go to uh, the chart book area here and we'll select new chart book. And you'll see I have another uh, tab that shows up here. It's just named for now as a placeholder chart book one. And I can open up new charts or new windows in here to kind of save inside this chart book. So let's go to file here. I'm gonna open up a new, uh, a new chart. So like I said, we can make this one for example for the 6E. So I'll go ahead and uh, choose the 6 he We'll go for the June contract here. And I'll just open up a chart and you'll see that shows up right within my uh, new chart book, chart book one. Now, if we want to actually save this chart book, we can do that using the SV button here. Uh, that's just one way to do that. So save here, save chart book as. So uh, since uh, my naming convention has kind of been used this way, I'm gonna go ahead and name this here 6E dash chart book, but you can name your chart books whatever you like or however you like to name them. Uh, maybe you save them by time frames instead of uh, instruments or uh, something to that effect here. So I'll select save. And now that's saved here. So every time um, I you know, were to open up a new chart book, I could actually do that. And we can close out chart books too. So uh, for example, if I wanted to close my ES chart book here, I could use this C C button here standing for close chart book. And we'll go ahead and I can save changes and things like that. So now we have just our CL chart book and our 6E chart book that are um, available to me right now. I can view them, I can uh, open up the different charts here within them, but I can also open up another chart book. Uh, for example, maybe I want that ES chart book back. Again, just use that OC button here, open chart book, and uh, we have that saved. So as soon as I select that and select open, it'll come up for me here. And you can rearrange them uh, as well. Uh, so that's just kind of a, 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 th a thing that you can use to kind of, uh, uh, again, have a collection of different charts and things like that. So it will also save inside them studies as well. I don't have to have any on my charts now, but if you did, we're actually going to go through adding studies to your chart in a separate video. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. Now you'll notice in the, C the CL uh, earlier in the video, I actually had these arranged differently. The charts inside the CL chart book weren't actually uh, full screen. So there's some pretty cool features that we can do to uh, organize our, our, uh, our charts within our chart books. So to access those, we we'll wanna go to the window tab here. 
And the window tab gives us some quick buttons here that we can use to just automatically organize our charts for us. So one of those is tile horizontally. You'll see that uh, tiles them horizontally for this. Uh, for us uh, kind of one on top of the other or if I had more charts within here I don't have to have just two maybe I had three or four um, those would stack those on top of each other as well if I go back to that window menu we'll also see we have tile vertically so if we click that uh, you can see here it uh, has them full full length or as close to that as they can uh, vertically here and that would do the same uh, of course for um, the multiple charts if I had three or four or more of them of course so you can see that can kind of uh, be a cool way or a quick way to organize them for you. I can uh, do that the same here of my ES chart book, uh, for example. Maybe I wanted these to be uh, horizontally instead of vertically, uh, as opposed to kind of where I, what I have in the CL chart book here. See, I can kind of switch back. We also have some other options within this window option here. So one of them is actually the detach attach chart window. So right now, uh, all of these chart windows are actually inside of kind of our um, chart books here. They're they're kind of locked in here. I, I can't really move them out. You can see they don't go really above the toolbar. Uh, I can kind of bring them a little bit down farther, but um, they're kind of locked within the Sierra chart platform here. One cool feature that we can use, uh, for example, if maybe if you have multiple monitors, this could help. Um, you can use this window button here and use the detach at attach chart window to make it a free floating window. So now it's actually separate from Sierra chart itself. So that's just kind of a cool way to be able to move that into a, uh, for example, if you had a separate monitor or you wanted to uh, only view the chart and not necessarily the platform, you see I can uh, minimize the rest of the platform. And what that does when you uh, detach the chart is it actually gives you, gives you these quick uh, when, uh, quick buttons as well, kind of a toolbar at the top of the chart. So if I wanted to go back to it and have it uh, included within kind of the Sierra chart platform area there, uh, instead I can go right back to that window tab and then select detach attach chart window and that brings it right back inside here for us. So that's just kind of a, a quick button there as well. Um, a great way to be able to manage your windows outside of just the platform itself and kind of bring them to other monitors or bring them to other layouts where you necessarily don't want um, or you don't necessarily want you know all these toolbars and things like that. So that's kind of the basics of chart books, how you can save them, open them, uh, close chart books, for example. Again, just the C, uh, CC button here, you can save or not save changes. And it'll save all of the charts that are within there, the instruments, timeframes, studies, things like that, just to make it easier and load a bit quicker for you. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more videos on chart books and charts, as well as things like adding those studies to your charts so that you can save those within your chart books. If you do have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website. We hope you have a wonderful day.